I've been in and out my mind since I hit your phone. I've been counting up the times that I did you wrong. I just want you by my side when I get real gone. Feel it's been a little while since we... Welcome to Porto. We've just gotten off the train. It's very hot, but... We uh, passed by some very scenic routes on the way. Gonna order an Uber, because it's quite a way to our hotel. The train was very nice. We got first class. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Extra 12 euros, absolutely balling. Thank God for aircon on the train, honestly. Room tour. Right, so, as you come in, you're first greeted by the toilet. We have a very nice and big shower. Oh, there's me and then um, the toilet. And then we come out into the living room. This is our very lovely kitchen. Got some hobs, although a microwave, although I don't think we'll be doing much cooking. But a very nice dining table, a nice countertop as well with a lovely coffee machine, nice double bed. Couple of couches in front of a very nice telly. Now onto the part that is the best about this and I'm very excited about it. As you can see, it's a decent sized balcony, but also the location is absolutely amazing because this is pretty much the main square. As you can see there, that's literally the river. And the view is absolutely amazing there. Cannot be happier with the accommodation, the location, the space, everything. Um, it's just top notch, really. Next morning. Breakfast. Breakfast! A nice matcha latte and an eggs royale with smoked salmon. You've got a Nutella mocha. Pretty nice. I've been in and out my mind since I hit your phone. I've been counting up the times that I did you wrong. I just want you by my side. Stupid games, the situation rotates. And they say communication, safe relations, okay. Medicated, how I'm patient, wasting time in the stairs. <laughs> so we're finally all the way up the tower uh, of the chapel. It was very narrow stairs. I uh, ended up having oncoming traffic, but look at the view. So if you see there, this one, that's where we're going for lunch, but in the distance. But yeah, that's some food market that we're going for lunch. Tomahawk steak. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're not eating McDonald's. We are just browsing because this is meant to be a really nice McDonald's. Oh, they got chandeliers in McDonald's. Tell me, baby, what's the problem? Cause I could try to figure it out. Just a very nice train station with uh, tiles that depict some of the history from Portugal. Belly go! Belly go! Belly go! Belly! Let me get something right off my chest. I've been meaning to read until it's time to put it to rest. Is it stress? Is it that I ain't answer your text? Don't you treat it like amnesia? You know I always forget. Uh, Stirring the pot real hot. Watch how the plot thickens. Around the clock, tick tock. Need more than 20 seconds. We are now at. Bolhau Market, Mercado de Bolhau. It's basically a food market that sells loads of food stuff here behind me. And then also some like different like condiments and like flowers and stuff like that. But I think we're going to settle for food source and try a few different things. Also, nice that they have covers so it's not absolutely beaming down with sunlight and you're just sweating whilst eating. Can I hold you? Hear your truth. Pull you closer. Talk it through. Girl, you know that 
I'm the one that you can come and complain to Your silhouette's amazing but your brain is a maze too So can you help me find my way While I find something to say I know the arguing just augments everything going both ways But baby I can see you I think I'm gonna get the rigatoni Then either the bolognese or the carbonara Deciding decisions Let's get one bolognese and one carbonara Yeah Or is there any other thing you want? Well, I like the truffle, but it's no meat. I don't know. Uh, let's, I think the bolognese and the carbonara will be the best. Pasta has been absolutely demolished. It was so good. Very cheesy, as you would expect. Um, I'm not actually that full yet, so I might get a few more bits and bobs here. Maybe some seafood. There's some cured meats as well. There's some, like, rice balls or something. So I'm going to have a wonder. And, uh, oh, and off the pasta and the cheese. Also a bit thirsty, so I might get some juice. As you can see, I've got some shrimp, some prawns, and an oyster with sea urchin and some uh, fruit juice. I think it was strawberry, passion fruit, and mango. So, if you look there, this tower, that's where we were this morning before lunch when we went up all this, uh, the cathedral. So we're finally all the way up the tower uh, of the chapel. So we are now at the hotel gym. Actually, I don't need, need to pan, this is it. <laughs> gonna go to gym tomorrow morning, gonna go to another one. Definitely you can get a semi-decent workout here, but I'm doing pool day, I'll need a barbell or something, just some barbell row, so. So after having Portuguese food every single day for every single meal, we have decided that today we are going for a Japanese food dinner. Um, we found this Japanese restaurant not too far from a hotel that has very good reviews. It's called Sabuya. I never thought I'd feel like this. Good morning everyone, it is Friday, another day in Porto, another gym. This time in Porto we are visiting Fox Gym, a, I think what is a kickboxing gym. Can I get a day pass please, a guest pass? Do you take card? Yes. Ah, uh, thank you. First day? Uh, no, it's a second day in Porto, but first time here, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So as you come down the stairs into the weights area, you're first greeted by, I think, what is a push section. Decent selection of machines. Smith machine is always a plus. Got some incline machines. Hammer strength. This is a line down that arrays. Some arms. A little bit of arms here. Some preacher girls. Dips. Some hammy stuff. Quite happy I did a uh, legs blackout to be honest. With that being one of the best gyms in Europe. You're not really gonna have many gyms that can beat that. Then you've got more chest, some chest flies. Uh, Smith machine, got, you got quite a few Smith machines here, which uh, I'm a big fan of, big fan of. We've got a chest fly. A ridiculous amount of chest machines here. Okay, so I think the chest stuff is in blue and the orange stuff that I've showed you are shoulders. I like this color coding system, I can't lie. Now we're getting to the yellow bit, which I believe is back. So as you see, you can have a lap pull down here. You've got a low to high row, another rowing, another lap pull down. Old school cable rows. You've got your lap pullovers, love this machine. Your high to low rows, or two bar rows, I'm gonna get on that. Um, 
hamstring throw as well there. If you remember the other corner, we saw some hammy stuff that was in red. The rest of it is here. So you got like a squat, another hat seated hamstring curl, a leg press there. Uh, you got a hack squat and another leg press over there. Leg extension, plate loaded, adductor, abductor stuff, more leg extension. This one's a pin loaded one. We love pin loaded leg extensions. And another unilateral leg press. Thoughts? I'm not going to compare it to Blackout Gym because I think that's unfair. But given what this gym is, it's definitely impressed me a lot. I think it's caught me by surprise. I think from the photos, I didn't expect it to be so well equipped as it actually is. Am I safe for walking out on us? Oh, or am I losing touch? Too many games, now all our trips are lost. So we are in Cafe Santiago. We are here to try Porto's famous sandwich. I think it's pronounced Francencinha or something like that. There we go. Have you had it? It's good. It's so good. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. I like how the ham is a bit salty. And it works with the steak. I like the sauce as well. We are just at this famous library called Laveria Lello. I'm not really sure why it's famous. Um, I see people going in and out in literally five minutes. Um, but I think you can get some like limited edition books there. But I don't really read, so just purely being a tourist here. has given Dobby a sock. Dobby is free. Here's a question. If Jacob is doing work on his roof and needs to go up there, what does he need? Jacob's ladder. What do you call a posh Harry Potter who loves beer? Harold Pinter. Oh, you've no, done no, no, it again! You, you dirty bastard! You've done it Where again! We are just now getting over the bridge. What's it called? Louise Bridge? Don, Don, Don Louis Bridge. The metal one that you would have seen in the footage. Like the seasons, I'm on repeat. So you won't know this, but I'm actually scared of heights and uh, I'm getting the feeling now where my legs are going jelly. I don't get nervous, but I'm starting to get a bit shaky, you know what I mean? I'm a little bit weak. My girlfriend finds it funny. <laughs> I'll try and show you how high we are. I'll try and zoom down without actually looking at the screen. So there's the bottom. And I think it's just quite high. And having like the trains go past you is cool and all, except for the fact that it is just like metal panes or like on the bridge. So like whenever the train comes past, the whole thing literally rumbles. And obviously, as you would have seen, 
there's not a lot of support like in just a number of beams underneath the top level so like when it rumbles it rumbles it shakes and uh and i'm already afraid of heights my foot in rumbling doesn't help at all but uh, i'm almost off the bridge now so that's good almost there so this might be a better view of like i guess the height of that bridge <laughs> It's just like different rubbish and stuff and metal poles and stuff but they kind of aggregate into a rabbit. Pretty cool. We're on the other side of the river now. This is what it looks like um, from the other side. Bear in mind our hotel would be uh, somewhere there. All right so this is how high we actually were. We're going back across on the lower level now. It is our last meal in Porto. Today we have come to Rio's Tapas and Bar. the airport ready to depart the end of our holiday a little bit concerning we don't see a Ryanair desk or but does that mean like we're at the right terminal is there only one terminal here so we both haven't had any food yet and it is currently 8 59 what I'm really craving is a wagon mama's breakfast if you don't know or you've never been to Heathrow terminal 5 they've got a wagon mama there and I literally every time I'm there I go get either Whatever time of day is, I just go Wagamama's and get whatever they have on the menu. So now that I'm at the airport, I'm craving that again. I feel like I've been conditioned to think that way, to crave Wagamama's whenever I'm at the airport. All right, okay, so we are now at the gate. Just getting ready to board the plane and go back to England. Yeah, I just, I guess, just want to say thank you for watching this kind of two-part series of my holiday in Portugal. Still quite new to this lifestyle vlogging thing because um, I know normally I make more kind of gym and fitness centered content. I think I've quite enjoyed it, I can't lie. So who knows, maybe going forward. Well, let me know if you would like to see more of this kind of content. Um, I guess the more I do it, I'll get better at it as well. Um, but yeah, just kind of finding my style with this type of content at the moment, playing around. But yeah, thank you all for watching.